Hello everyone, welcome back to 3 Minute Theology. A word that you might have heard from time to time in church or in Christian material is the word gospel. This word is used in the context of the good news of Jesus' life, ministry, death and resurrection and the call to believe that he was the Son of God and came to save people from their sins. This word gospel was used before Jesus' time and it was used in a way that heralded good news from a king or a noble person. A messenger would come into town and proclaim good news from the king. You might have heard this word many times and you know what it means. But some of us might have heard this word and always wondered what it means and what is the gospel. And if I was to ask you, I would be sure to get very many different answers. So what is the gospel? Well, I believe that the good news begins at the beginning with creation. God is the loving ruler of the world and he created everything perfectly, including us. To care for this world, he created us to be the rulers of the world under him, to care for his perfect creation. God in his rightful place and us in ours sounds rather ideal, doesn't it? And this is in our current situation. And that's because of the fall. Humanity rejected God's rule over us and we rebelled against God. And sadly, this had an adverse effect on all of creation. Everything that is wrong with the world today is as a result of our failed attempt to rule in God's place. And this is the bad news. And in order to know how good the good news is, you have to know the bad news. But it gets worse before it gets better. God takes our rebellion seriously and holds us accountable for our actions. And the punishment for our sin and rebellion is death. This is entirely just from God because it is us that says to God, leave us alone, and in eternal punishment and death, he does. This is a terrible thing, and it sounds harsh, but it is completely just. But this is where the good news begins. Because of his love for his creation and for us, God sent his son Jesus to the earth, and Jesus lived the perfect life under God's rule and never sinned. He died on a cross in our place and took our sin upon himself. He suffered the death that we deserve and brought us forgiveness from God. That is generous from start to finish, but it continues to get better. God raised Jesus from the dead on the third day and now he brings new life for those who follow him. And this leaves us with a decision to make. Will we submit to Jesus as the ruler of our lives and accept the offer of forgiveness from God through him and rely on his death and resurrection for life now and into eternity? Or will we continue to live our own way and reject God and his grace and be condemned to face eternal punishment for our sins? It sounds slightly too good to be true, but it most definitely is. There's something to think about for three minutes.